These people are out of control, though. Let me tell you what they did earlier today. They attacked a veterans crisis hotline. Trump supporters shut down a veterans crisis hotline. Now we're reading from the Daily Coast. This was the only place that I could find that had like all the information together. But it's a little bit of an editorial. I wanted more of a news article. But once again, this, this just happened earlier today. One of the things that the mostly white January 6th defendants are experiencing for the first time is how slowly the justice system can move when you are considered too dangerous to release back into the public. The general angle that most insurrection apologists have taken is that the attempted coup d'etat of our nation's capital building on January 6th was no harm, no foul violation of civility. Things got out of hand. While many of the people there were talking about hanging Vice President Mike Pence and stopping Congress from making uh, the electoral votes of the 2020 presidential election official, things got broken because everyone was having a grand old party time. The fact is, these MAGA folks broke a lot of laws. Most of the uh, most of the laws these folks broke running the full gamut of uh, trespassing and vandalism to outright sedition or federal laws. As such, right-wing fascists have been crying about how they are being treated by the legal system. In the case of January 6th defendants, there is ample video and social media evidence placing them at the scenes of all the crimes they are being charged with. On Monday, Daily Beast reporter Zachary uh, Patrizzo reported that members of the 1776 Restoration Movement were back in Washington, D.C. this morning and part of their activities, including trying to flood the Veterans Crisis Line with bogus calls urging the D.C. jail to release the January 6th rioters. Once again, this is coming from a... Uh, uh, opinion piece uh, on the Daily Coast, but here you can hear it straight from the uh, 1776 whatever the fuck they're calling themselves. Let them know that there is inhumane treatment going on at the D.C. jail. Over half of the political prisoners in there are veterans. Most of them combat veterans, Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. So, so, so they're saying that's the reason why they're flooding the crisis hotline because half of them are probably veterans and they're in crisis in the D.C. jail for committing crimes. Let them know about the inhumane treatment you, and that nobody's doing anything and that the American people expect the VA to get right in the middle of this yesterday. Thank you. Have a good day. And we'll be back, I'm sure. So there you have it. That was the group calling on them to flood the veterans hotline. (sighs) On behalf of their criminal buddies and putting actual veterans that need help at risk. It's insane. This is insane. The Santa cult. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what cult this is. Now, now, Mandy, like as, as, as someone who is really big on criminal justice reform, I hope they are, are treated with all the rights they are afforded under the constitution that we often don't give other people, that we often don't give a lot of our prisoners, but I advocate that for everybody. I understand. I get, I get the sentiment and I like as a commentator, I can't do it because then, like, you know, hypocrisy. Blah, 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 blah. It's like some people had, had talked about anti-vaxxers uh, not receiving health care. Like, that's just not the, that's not the turning them down for health care. No, I want everyone to have health care. I want everyone to have universal access to the best health care possible. And I will never change my stance on that because I am not a hypocrite. But you do you, like... You're you're not likely to, to, to have your words used against you in a debate. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's the what's the Michael Brooks saying? I need and I need to incorporate this uh, into my life far more. Be ruthless with systems and kind with people. 
Be ruthless with systems and kind with people. And I need to live by that a lot more in my life. 